It's a battle of profi sabers today on Darth Rage Reviews. <laughs> Evacuate? In our moment of triumph? I think you overestimate their chances. Greetings, Force fans, and welcome to another episode of Darth Rage Reviews, your source for the Force. Business out of the way, guys. I just released my video for what my 500 subscriber giveaway is going to be. I'm giving away the Consular. It's a stunt saber from Ultra Sabers. I recognize it as Qui-Gon's hilt. Please, please, please check out the video to see what you need to do and then make sure you're subscribed because that's step number one. Make sure you are a subscriber to our channel. All right, business out of the way. Let's get to the fun stuff, guys. Today, we're doing a review comparison video of two of my Profi NeoPixel Sabers. This is one of the fun things I like to do, guys, is to compare products from different companies just to kind of let you know what my thoughts are, maybe help guide you in your next purchase of your next lightsaber. So we've got two here. What I have are my Boars the Dragon Slayer from the pack store, the POC store. This is a Profi 2.2 NeoPixel. And then I've got my Dark Wolf Customs Reaver. This is an LGT Saber that I purchased from Dark Wolf Customs. This is also Profi 2.2. So let's just take you through the Dark Wolves first. So I got this for under 300, I think it was $280. Uh, LGT Profi NeoPixel uh, 2.2. This is a beautiful saber, lots of chrome. I uh, love the honeycomb black here, uh, sleeve that's kind of over the, the pommel. Um, nice little flared emitter. Uh, and of course it is NeoPixel, so you get all the wonderful bells and whistles. It ignites up, it ignites down. You get some really cool effects. Um, it comes preloaded with 10 to 12 fonts, um, a lot of the standard public domain fonts, Teensy, Smooth Jedi, Smooth Fuzz, uh, you get a Vader, you get a Ray, uh, you get a Darksaber, um, and ultimate, you know, infinite number of colors because every single font, you can adjust the RGB on it and make the blade whatever color you would like, and it's really simple. Um, So simply point the blade down. Oops, sorry. And as you twist it, you see you can go through whatever color you want to go through. Um, lock it in with that. So ultimately you have whatever color blade you want with this. And it's pretty much true of all uh, Profi NeoPixels. Um, so you're not stuck on one blade color, blade style per, per font. Uh, so pros of this one, the beautiful hilt, obviously, uh, very, very affordable. I know that Boars, the, the POC store, uh, Bill's Boars the Dragon Slayer is the most affordable Profi NeoPixel, but the LGT offerings are uh, actually less expensive than that. Um, comes preloaded with a lot of really cool fonts, and the sound on this one is incredible. Uh, crisp, clear, smooth swing, of course, so when you swing it. You get the motions, um, flash on flash, tip drag, you know, everything that you want, lights and bells and whistles, flashes and stuff that you get with the Sabre, you will get with this one for under $300. So incredible, incredible, incredible Sabre. Those are my pluses. My negatives, um, and this is just this model, uh, but this model, it is really hard to access the board. So if I wanted to try to get into loading my own fonts, doing that kind of stuff, uh, it's gonna take a whole lot of elbow grease to get the chassis uh, out of this sleeve that's here. Um, it's just packed really tight in there and it's difficult to get out. Uh, therefore, I don't really think I'm gonna try to get this out to load fonts. This is just gonna stay preloaded with what's on it. Um, and, and again, I haven't loaded fonts onto either of these, so these are both, that's exactly the blade styles that they come preloaded with. So that's my negatives. Pluses, Profi for under 300, come on. That's, that's a beautiful thing. So that's a brief go at the Reaver. So then what about this one? This is Boars the Dragon Slayer, and this one is from the pack store. This one came in at $360, so a little over $300. It is a two-button 
Profi NeoPixel. Now you can get the Asteria version for uh, just over 300. I think it was 310. It's like $50 less. Um, and that is also NeoPixel. It is an Asteria version though. So it's, uh, as I understand it, not quite as uh, upgradable. A um, little easier to work with though. Uh, so the reason I got this, as I told you, the Reaver, uh, the difficulties to access the board on that, this one, you have no such problem. So this is the Ultimate Works. It comes with a removable chassis and it's interchangeable with theirs. Um, it's, it's really, really a neat system. So to access the board on this, you simply take it off, pop that out, and then boom, you've got access to the board. Uh, very, very simple to do. Very, very simple to do. And another cool aspect is you can buy pre-kit hilts, which are nowhere near as expensive as the full version, and then just install that chassis in there, boom, new saber. So really, really cool uh, aspect of that. Um, this one's neat too in that it has uh, an LED also in here, so you don't need to have the blade in. Most when you pull the blade out, uh, you would need a special NeoPixel blade chip in order to light it up. This one, it has uh, LEDs in there, so it actually lights up on itself. So, oops. Smooth Jedi. Teensy. Smooth Jedi. Smooth Gray. All right. So I want to show you some of the uh, blade styles on this. So pluses, the blade styles that come preloaded on this are incredible. The flame effect, Looks so much better than the flame effect on this one. It comes with a rainbow blade. Um, just a whole lot of really cool. There's an ombre one that kind of starts as one color and goes to a different color in the tip. Um, very, very cool preloaded blade effects. Definitely much better than what comes loaded on the LGT. Although I've heard that they're talking about uh, adding some of those really, really cool fonts back on there. So I'll uh, show you some of what we got here. The flame effect. As you can see, you can see the heat, you know, like the brighter orange flames and some black flames going in there. It's just super, super cool. Um, and I want to find this one as well. Not that one. So this is something I've wanted on my blades ever since I saw people uh, online with these, and it's the rainbow blade. So... It doesn't show up the best on camera, but it literally is just the rainbow scrolling down through the blade. Very, very cool. Very, very colorful. Makes fun spinning videos. Um, again, this has all the same bells and whistles as the uh, LGT. Smooth swing, um, blaster deflect, uh, you got some force effects, tip drag, a lot of different really cool effects that you know, you're not going to find or on a regular LED saver that you can only get with a NeoPixel. Um, so I want to compare real quick the two flame blades that they have here. Teensy. Smooth Jedi. Teensy. Smooth Jedi. Smooth Gray. Okay. Yeah, so we got that one. And let me get this one. This will take a little bit longer. And solo. Sorry. All right. So let's take a look at the two differences in those. Sorry. Not that. Sorry. No, <laughs> either. Get in there. All right, there we go. So this would be the LGT version. You can see it's flickery, you know. It kind of looks like it, but the difference between those, I hope that shows up on camera. You can see the flames in this one kind of going up. Now, the font for my Reaver is just that that's Kylo's lightsaber. So much better, you can hear it crackling. This one's just a standard hum. So 
blade effects. This one looks so much cooler. Uh, but sound, I gotta give the up to my, my LG T and my Reaver. So, in a nutshell, that's these two sabers comparison wise. So what, you know, who, who gets the upper hand? Um, taking all things into consideration, which would be price, this is a little more expensive than my LG T. Um, and I, again, I'm basing these just on what they come preloaded with. Uh, because you could technically access the board on both these, load the exact same font styles, and you would have identical blade styles and that. So I'm, I'm judging these based on what they came preloaded with. So price-wise, uh, got to give the to the LG T. I I mean, this is, is less than $300 for a Profi NeoPixel uh, Saber. You can't beat that. Um, one point for LG T on that one. Uh, blade styles, the looks of the blade, hands down, it goes to Ultimate Works. So they're going to win that category hands down. Sound-wise, LG T. Got to give it to LG T. The Ultimate Works does have a little bit of, uh, you get some pops and things in the sound of it. It's just not, not, as good as as the sound that's coming off the LGT and the uh, difference you've got a lot uh, more variety of blade sounds in the LGT saber so I'm gonna give two points to that one for that uh, overall looks it's really close for both of them uh, but I got to go with the ultimate works just because of the windows in here um, and the fact that it came with a blade plug and it lights up even without the blade in it so uh, ultimately look wise and that gun metal is just that's just so sweet uh, looks wise I'm gonna give it to that so we're tied here um, which you know it really comes down then to me the access to the board and the winner hands down is the pox store on that ultimate works that uh, chassis that they have the pre-kit system that they have is just so easy to access uh, I'm really looking forward to breaking this out and playing around with some of the blade styles and the fonts and, and really getting into that, um, which is really going to tip the edge to Ultimate Works uh, for, for their Boars the Dragon Slayer. So comparison, head-to-head -head comparison, I got to give the edge to Ultimate Works. It's a little bit more expensive, but the ease of access to the board, uh, the extra blade plug, and the LEDs in the hilt to uh, let you light it up without the NeoPixel blade, that kind of all gives it the edge to me. So hope that helped you guys. If you guys are looking for a new Sabre out there and you really want uh, to make an informed decision, I hope this will help you make an informed decision. Um, you can't go wrong with either of these. Uh, you can't go wrong with either companies, Dark Wolf Custom Sabres, great Sabre uh, company located here in America. Um, great response from them on Facebook. Pox Store is out of China, but also great customer service and uh, really, really responsive uh, on Facebook messengers and uh, emailing them. So, you know, both of them get really good uh, reviews for their customer service. The Edge just goes to Ultimate Works, Boars the Dragon Slayer at this time. And, you know, maybe because this is my new baby too, um, that may be why, why I'm, I'm giving it the Edge. But uh, the winner in the head to head comparison, Ultimate Works, Boars the Dragon Slayer. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. As always, guys, I am Darth Rage. This is Darth Rage Reviews, your source for the Force. I felt a great disturbance in the force, as if millions of voices suddenly cried out in terror and were suddenly silenced. <laughs>